and I am live. Good morning, world. Good morning, internet. Good morning, YouTube. It is Sunday, I believe. It's Sunday. It's 9.32 a.m. I've been to the car boot sale and come back, so get me getting up and getting going in the mornings. And I'm here to show you, if any of you are out there, what I bought. So pop in well, I can see people who are actually looking. It'd be worth talking. Otherwise, I'm just sitting here chatting to myself. It? it is early. You may not get notifications. All of that good stuff may not happen. I am proper bleary, it has to be said. Proper, proper bleary this morning. And it is really just me. Normally, if people have popped in by now, just me. Maybe it's too early. Oh, bingo. There's all the people. For a moment there, I thought I was literally just going to sit and talk to myself all morning. Which, you know, won't be the first time. Good morning, Saz Guest. Good morning, Shazad and Laurel, Mizzy, Deb Hughes. Good morning, Lexi Licious. Good morning, Malcolm Maury. Good morning, Claire Borden, Claire Count One. Good morning, Julie Pearson, Chris B, Lisa Cotton, Heather the Treasure Pirate. Good morning, Bumblebee. Good morning, Karin. And good morning, Martina Relove Reseller. <clears throat> and there's a few more. Good morning, DME. Good morning, Sophia. And good morning, Chris Tyler. It took ages for you to show up down the side. I was like, actually. Maybe nobody is coming this morning. <laughs> Maybe they just don't want to chat and I'll just sit here on my own. <laughs> good morning, Helen and Bo, of course. Bo will be there somewhere. Good morning, Mike Dando. And good morning, Shiv. Lovely to see you. How the devil are you all? Are you all well? Are you all still alive and kicking? I, I realise that I look somewhat like shit this morning. I apologise for that. It doesn't help that I now sit by the window, so I've got this bright light on my face making me look washed out. Good morning, Claire Sheen. Claire Count. Are you all well? Are you all tickety-boo? Are you all still alive, still kicking, still getting on with it? Excuse the fringe, by the way. I hacked at it during a live, well, during a uh, YouTube a Hangouts chat with the girls the other day. I just hacked at it because I was so fed up with it and I didn't do a very good job. And what's that bit of hair doing? Camera's back to front. It confuses me no end. Oh, well. Oh. So, yeah, I've been to the car boot sale. I've come back. Josh hasn't even got his ass out of bed yet, as far as I'm aware. Lazy bones. So I've been and got back again. And um, I spent £10.50, um, partly because my heart isn't really in the buying at the moment. Oh, Bo's not there. Bo is at the grandparents, bless. <laughs> you watched Matt Goss last night. Was any good on his own? Um, good morning, Brian. I can't speak. I'm so excited. EFC, electronic, EFS, e oh Christ, hang on, I'll go out and come back in. Good morning, electronic firing squad, how bloody lovely to see you. <laughs> he says, disciples of resale, greetings and hello, also hello and hola and bonjour, <laughs> just to make sure he's covered everyone. Mike is well, but he's still not escaped from hospital, sorry to hear that, Mike. I don't think they're going to let you out, mate, I think I think you might be in a psych ward. Um, good morning, Patricia. Lisa says, I had my first sale of the month wake me up this morning, so I feel today would be a good day. I hope so. Yesterday was absolutely shocking for me, sales-wise. Absolutely dismal. And I woke up this morning to two mildly offensive offers. So, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, have I already said good morning, Julie Pearson? I think I have. Good morning. Good morning again, Julie Pearson, in case I missed you. Carmen says, I listed 18 new with tag soft toys yesterday. I sold one last night. It's a good start. Well done. Good morning, Claire Riley. Claire count three. That's three fingers, by the way, just holding them the way around. Um, so, yeah, I bought at the car boot sale some stuff. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Oh, Deb Hughes says she went to school with Matt and Luke Goss. I bet they were very popular at school. Good looking lads. Malcolm says he had about six sales during the day yesterday in a sale early morning from someone in Ireland. We're still waiting for payment, though. That'd be death by glamour. Pay up, death. She's not there yet. She watches this back. She'll be like, what the hell are you blaming me for? Good morning, Kirsten. Um, I can hear people saying hello downstairs. This is worrying. Shazad says, I did 3K on Amazon just saying, lol. You blow that trumpet, Shazad. Well done, mate. <laughs> I think that might be the kids arriving, so they may appear any second now. They do like being live. Okay, I got for one pound, I got all of these. They're not vintage, they are the modern kind of, um, it's not even Tupperware, modern kind of, I'm going to say Tupperware because I don't know what you call it when it isn't, but those bowls that pop out, space saving, 
So they pop out like that and then you pop them back up to close them and store them in your cupboard. I don't know whether I bought them to resell or whether I bought them to me, if I'm honest. To me, for me. I honestly don't know my purpose behind buying them. But when she said they're only a pound for the lot, I thought I'd have them. Um, they're very slithery. They keep getting away. I have no idea whether they have any resale value. And I probably don't need them. But I was that, that's how my head was this morning. Good morning, fun stuff. Fun stuff says, oh, my God, I'm still awake. 3.30 a.m. here. Did it just start? It did just start. Yes, I've just got here. I started at 9.30. Deb Hughes says, um, Matt and Luke Goss were a nightmare at school. Buddy, be quiet, please. Sasuke said, I got an offer of £60 this morning on a £199 dress, but I paid 50p. What do I do? When it's like that, I am mildly offended that the offer is too low. However, it's a massively good return on what you paid. So I base my, my response at that point on how badly I want the money. If I'm if, if sales have been shit and I really want to get some sales moving and I really need the money, then I'll I'd take that offer. I'd still be annoyed that it was so low, but I'd take it. However, if you don't need the money, if sales aren't poor, then I would hold out a bit longer. That's that's what I would do. Um Malcolm says he's got a couple of these bowls for the dog's water. He's like, that's a good idea, actually. They're an ideal size for and yeah, and yeah, good idea. <laughs> Brian says Shazad counting the parts on use Monopoly games you're sending into Amazon doesn't count just heads up good morning Welsh Wonder Nia good morning oh Chris oh sorry Chris says those pop-up ones list them in caravan camping section excellent I, I advice thank you I may sell them like I said we don't really need them but a quid for the lot seemed good Helen says I loved a bit of bros it was full of middle-aged screaming women then I realized I was one of them <laughs> <laughs> and Sasuke says, I always want the money. In that case, love, I would take the offer because £60 return on a 50p investment is not bad, is it? Let's face it. Um, Patricia says, bad sales this week. Only saved by Jacques Ver sale. Jacques Ver sale to a lady who has an eBay shop selling only Jacques Ver. It's annoying when you know you're selling to another trader, isn't it? I don't know why. I don't know why it's annoying, but it is. Helen says, is anyone having issues with my Hermes? None of my parcels have moved since Monday. I don't know. Shall I check my... um? my parcel to go and see if anything's stuck good morning sam says i'm sam says i'm early today i am indeed i've been to the car boot come back i've got a lot to do today so i thought i'd crack on with this live stream thought i'd get you lot out of the way <laughs> now all of mine are shifting fine all of my parcels are on the move and moving around lovely so it's um perhaps it's an issue with your parcel shop or your parcel shop collector helen the, you know the doo duplex or maybe he maybe they're short stuffed in your area good morning phoebe oh I'm clicking on people randomly now. Good morning, Phoebe. Lovely to see you. Oh, oh, you've gone. I, I should maybe let go of the mouse. <laughs> Just managed to close the whole lot down very briefly. Good morning, sail away. <laughs> oh, Helen says a national issue apparently on all that was sent Monday. Perhaps I didn't send any Monday. It's possible. No, I'm sure I did because I came back from Hitchin, did my parcels. Yeah, mine went out Monday afternoon. A lot of mine went out Monday afternoon. Good morning, Laney Ray. Um, I don't think I've missed anyone. Sailor Ray's had nine sales this weekend, so not bad there. Um, yeah, yesterday was just really, really poor. Just I think, I think I had nothing all day. And then I had one sale, which I took an offer on about 7 p.m. And then... One annoying offer a little bit later. Guys! Quiet! Hello! Hello! Never work with children on this. Good morning, find it, restore it. Good morning, Karen. Um, I don't think I've missed anyone. Okay, um, so so the first, first I've showed you those, haven't I? And then I bought these for three pounds from Steve, my car boot guy. They need a little bit of a cleanup, but they are sketches. They're in good condition, they're just the soles need a bit of a tidy up. So where's my camera? There it is. They are bright pink, which is, I was reluctant to buy them because of them being bright pink, but somebody must want bright pink with yellow neon lining, mustn't they? It's a pair of sketches. What size are they? I didn't even look at the size. UK five, so quite a nice standard lady size. Not bad for three quid, really. Might stick them through the washing machine. Yeah, people are saying clothing sales are slow. It's, it's always poor in Q4. Phoebe thinks things will pick up after the election. Let's hope so. EFS says, I wish, wishes Sue's piles of shames within here. Convinced we'd be best friends and I never catch her in a lie. 
Shall I see if I can summon her for you? Depends on whether she's busy with family and whatever, but I'll see if I can summon her. Hang on. Bear with. Oh, you'll have to talk amongst yourselves. Your presence is requested in my chat by a fan. There you go. You never know if she if she's around, she might pop up. Um, right, where am I? Let's let's scroll back up and just see if I've missed anything. Uh, yeah, Phoebe thinks things get better after the, after the election. Chris says he rarely uses her means sent two this week and both collected okay. Karen says my plus side next year can only get better. This is true. Deb Hughes has had a nice little uh, little haul or work called lovely and three large boxes full of new bubble mailer envelopes. Nice. I'm pleased enough when I get second hand ones, but not, but new ones are even better. So, uh, Polly Rack and Sue will still be asleep. Uh, Brian wants to know when it is that we guys will be electing the British Donald Trump. I really hope we won't be. I really hope we won't be. <laughs> Le uh, Lex says if we um, if we link hands, we can summon Sue. <laughs> If anybody would like to pop in, by the way, I will pop the link in because I've never done this when anybody when people just pop in and say hello. So I'm popping the link in the chat now. However, I will only let you in if I know who you are and you need to be clothed. OK, anyone thinking they can do what they did on. Um, on Zahir's channel and display parts of themselves that people may not want to see over their Sunday morning coffee needn't bother applying. And also when you appear backstage, I don't know. I don't know if I'll spot you. So um Kirsten says, unfortunately, she thinks we will be um, electing the British version of Trump. I hope not. I really hope not. There we go. The link is in the chat if anyone wants to pop in. But I'm really not going to be here for ages this morning. Um, shall I show you something else that I bought? I've shown you the sketches. I've shown you the whatever the heckin' things are. What They're not, they're not Tupperware. I paid £3 for this next little clutch of things. So um, I've got... A white company. God, that light's terrible, isn't it? How do I how do I make it not look so flipping bright? I can't because the window's there. It's a white company elephant. <laughs> um, he's in absolutely spanking new condition. Little white company. I didn't pay £3 for him. I paid £3 for this little lot. So he's in the little lot. Nobody's brave enough to come in because they're all still in their 90s. <laughs> um, in with my three quid was also this little box of napkin rings. They're just nice probably not silver are they just you know metal twisty napkin rings they need a bit of um a bit of a clean a bit of a wipe down oh there we go look here's an expedition <laughs> you look very glam do i yeah very rock quick this morning okay <laughs> um why is accusing you of showing your bits on Zahir's channel was it you well, it wasn't me it wasn't you, okay. <laughs> you didn't get your testicles out live on air. Not normally. I mean, I might do. God, I'm proper greasy today. Look at me, it's awful. You do look like you've just stepped out of Greece. Yeah. What with black, the black jacket as well? You look like one of the um, one of the T birds. <laughs> sure. From Boohoo. <laughs> from. A bit more uh, Boohoo. Boohoo. Good morning, Kay Gilson. I'm wondering if I've missed anyone in the chat. I'm sorry if I have. I'm too busy saying hello to Lex. Yeah, uh, Karen says it was men's bits, so it's a bit difficult for it to be Lex. But you never know what Lex has got going on, to be honest. <laughs> what the fucking fuck is that? What is it? It's grim, isn't it? It's so weird. What is it meant to be? It's... um. Uh, baby cub surprise. It's a teddy, I was surprised. Bear. teddy bear, and then inside it's got ew. It's like How many of them are there? Four. I'm doing a cesarean. It's going to give children a really weird idea about how to, about childbirth. They definitely come out of a slit on your back. Definitely, yeah. Even even when you have cesarean, they slice your spine open and pull them out yeah. through there. Yeah. Weird. That's vile. Hasbro. Hasbro should know better. No. So yeah, napkin rings. Um, I bought them because it's Christmas, isn't it? 
and people want napkin rings at Christmas when they don't want to bring you around. So that was in with me three quid. And then also in with me three quid was one of these, because people keep telling me that they made a fortune on these. Really? Netgear, Netgear wireless adapter. I don't even know if it's all in the box. I still, even, even when I open the box, I won't know if it's all in there. Because I won't know what I'm looking at. It looks right. Lisa says her daughter's got one of those weird bear things, but hers is a cat. Oh, it's probably worth a hell of a lot more than mine. Hello, Molly. Right, a nice walk. Molly's back. Molly. Lex is here. She's she's like, where were you? Lex is in the screen. Molly. Lex is in the screen. She's Molly. In the screen. Molly. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're a good girl. You but but you're a bit wet, bit wet. So get down. Come on, Molly. Come on. Also, in my three quid was a mini mouse mug because I don't have enough mugs going on. And it seems to be a bit of a kitchen storage day. This is that kind of, like, I don't even know if I can describe what this is. It's a storage canister with a weird lid. <laughs> and I bought it because plainly it's going to um, make me a fortune. Brian says he paid to have a neighbour done in off the proceeds from a Netgear sale. So there we go. Ooh. Brian, do you pay for other things? Pictures of your feet, for example. Yeah. I will be selling them. Ben if you want pictures of Lex feet, they're uh, coming up soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people are talking about the calories in a banana. So that's when you know you're boring people, when instead of listening to you, they're talking about the calories in a banana. Oh, Brian does pay. Fabulous. Message me later. <laughs> I paid one pound fifty for a blood glucose meter for people who have high blood glucose and all the bits of the all the paperwork fell out the box and I can't face put it back in. Does it do really well with weird medical shit? Does it measure ketones or just glucose levels? It's a blood glucose meter for self testing. So that's good for diabetics then. I presume so, yeah. I presume it's only diabetics that want to know what their blood glucose levels are, isn't it? I don't know. I'm quite curious. And I'm not diabetic. It'll be, re it'll be soon available on my um, on my eBay. Oh, really? At a bargain price? Yeah. And um, it's completely unused. It's all still sealed in its packaging, so... Mm. All the inside bits are still sealed. But yeah, I do scarily well with medical stuff. It's alarming that people would buy their medical stuff. Off you. Off me, yeah. <laughs> I'm alarmed by that. <laughs> Dr. Carla. Sam says you need keto pee pee sticks. Yes. Am I got that. late? And the answer is yes, you are late, Mandy. Explain yourself. Where have you been? Morning, kids. Karen says she doesn't want to know what her blood glucose is or her cholesterol or her blood pressure or her weight. Denial is best. <laughs> oh, I do. I do. I'm very curious to know. Nah! 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 Hiya. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What have you done tonight? Are you wanting me to stick that back together? Please. How did you manage this? I did it. Lizina did. Put it on a phone case and have a little whip in it. And then when she pulled it out, it would just in there. Just about to mend this fiver because that's how financially that's how we are in this house at the moment. That you know. Where's that money from? How is that? Yeah. If, if it was a one p note, we'd be mending it. That's how things are here at the moment. Do you want to see my duck? Yeah, we all want to see your duck. Is it a euphemism? Going, going well, in a way. Why do you have to sit down? And it's a tepalo. Hello. Hello. Quack. Quack. Mm. Quack. 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 Are you having a moment there with your duck? Is that Isn't it cool? She's not right in the edge. Right, I don't know. 
if I've missed anyone coming in, good morning if you've come in while I wasn't looking, while I was mending Nat's fiver. <laughs> Brian says Nat's got so old and Nat's so young. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, I oh, I just swapped a fiver for 20. That was a good deal. I wish I could do that more often. Do you want to see my box? Do I want to see in your box? Absolutely. Always. I want to see in your box. We all want to see in your box. Does anyone know what kind of wood that is? It smells really nice. Either camphor wood or cedar. Sorry. Walnut. Walnut. Oh, God, another one. It's definitely definitely yeah. Right, we're off. Yeah, off. Bye, Matt. Right, have a good day, children. Try to behave. Yeah, right, hang on. I'm trying to squeeze me bits back in my box. Well. Whoa. How to obtain a blood sample? Oh, good God. Right, I'm squishing all my bits back. Good morning, Barry Brown. Yeah, Saskia said she would say walnut too. Look at me knowing stuff. You're quite impressed. Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah. You could, going? Sometimes you could put that knowledge to good use. Yeah, it's unlikely though, isn't it? Karen says you should stop sniffing your box. If only I could reach. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to remove a rib, don't you? Or is that men that do that? See, I'm quite flexible. I could probably do it. There's you. <laughs> you are quite flexible. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh, oh walnut stuff, but maybe lined with cedar. Oh, thank you, Heather. I said walnut. I said walnut. I said walnut, and I knew stuff. I'm looking at nobody more. is more surprised than me when I know stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tori. Okay. Um, and the rest of my stuff is all fill a bag. Fill a bag, fill a bag. Fill a bag. Josh wasn't there, so I filled my bag. Two pounds I paid. And my massive Sports Direct filler bag. And the first thing I chucked in it was this. Are you ready? Ew. It's Steve's poo. Ew. Do you remember Steve's poo? Not really. I was very drunk. <laughs> At the very last game of the evening... Um, Steve was frantically trying to win a poo in a tin. He won it and then he left it behind. So when I saw this one, I thought, what would, could be a better birthday, uh, better Christmas present for Steve Green than the poo? So I'm going to post him that. But he's not here, so don't tell him anyone. I'm going to post him it, but I'm going to um, anonymously. Yeah. yeah. So it's just gonna it's just gonna get shit in the post basically. So anyone who's here watching, don't tell him. Bye, kids. Have fun. Bye. This is actually quite fun. Lainey says it's a bit shit. <laughs> so, yeah, that went in my filler bag for £2 straight away. Right? That, that was worth two quid on its own. And I got this. Anybody know what the fuck this is? It's a dinosaur. It's some kind of Lego thing because it has a seat for a Lego man. So it's it's almost it's it's like a flying dragony shit thing, but it has a seat that a Lego man can sit on it. Hang on, while I make me big a minute, Lex. How do I make me big? Fucking hell, I can't work straight. Oh no, that one it was it. <laughs> okay, me big, Lex small. There you go. Anyone? People are probably answering the chat, and I'm not even looking. It is a stretchy poo, Karen, yeah. Fun Stuff 24 says, put it in a little gift box of kitty litter. <laughs> and Shiv says, let's all send, send C, C shit in the post. <laughs> so, yeah, every week. What this is? it's got four little, I don't even know what these are on the front. And then, like I said, little Lego man seats. So, so it's obviously Lego something. Nobody's answering. That's because my, my people aren't. Lego crap people. My people are clothes people. That's why we need Josh. Yeah. I've just realised it's got a missing arm. Oh no. Well, good job it was only chucking in a bag, wasn't it? Because it's shit now. Adrian Davies, thank you, Adrian, has just popped in to say hi colour. That looks like a mega blocks dragon. It looks like a disabled mega blocks dragon because it's got a missing front leg. 
Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> Vicky the Toy Hoarder says Galidor. I've never heard of Galidor, but maybe that's him. It is, I mean, he's not naturally disabled. I presume he's meant to have another leg, yeah? Oh, well. Weird things you chuck in because you're doing filler bag. A couple of packets of command strips. If you do a filler bag, you may as well chuck stuff in, aren't you? And I'm, I'm sure they'll come in useful for something. My poo is stretching back to its normal shape as we speak. <laughs> Fun stuff 24 says puff the magic amputee. <laughs> I love that. Good morning, the monocle. Where did you spring from? Hey, Jonical. Um, he says, isn't it missing its face? I don't know. No, I think that's how its face is meant to be. Lainey says, send that to Steve too, along with the shirt. <laughs> Good morning, Buckle Y. Um, Rila uh, Martinez says, is it Ninjango? It might be. Morning, Lisa Fenn. I don't think I missed it. Right, let me see if I can make let me and Lex equal size again. Yeah. Hey, you're back. Yeah. Also, I might fill a bag. I might send this to you, Lex. Strikes me as something you'd like to own. Oh, is it Banksy? Oh, it's yeah. Banksy. Banksy light shade. That's cool. Weird, isn't it? I've never seen. I mean, I've never seen a Banksy light shade before. Nice. So yeah, chuck it in. Fill a bag. Fill in a bag. You fill a bag. And oh, that might, that's nearly broken. This is Royal Albert Bone China. It's a, I think like a little sandwich tray, sandwich plate. So that went in. I got a bit Josh at one point. Started putting shit in that I didn't really want. Started being gay, Tory. Yeah, so I got two butter kissed mugs. Everybody's saying loads of crate now. Crate's very popular. Weird stuff you chuck in when you're doing filler bag number 9,682, a sports bra. Worryingly, oh no it is, it's been washed, it's washing powder I can smell. It's an M&S sports bra, this is not just any old manky secondhand sports bra, this is an M&S manky secondhand sports bra. I think it was chocolate filling. Sorry? Has it got a chocolate filling? Uh, no, but it's uh, it, fe it feeds two for a tenner or something like that. <laughs> oh, Martina says Ninja Ninjago Stormbringer from Lego, she thinks. Okay. Still got an arm missing, so it's probably still worth above all. I got a crossword game. Never seen this before. This is MB Games Crossword. I don't know whether all the bits are there because they don't seem to fill up the section in which they sit. Thirteen letter cubes. Five, eight, nine. No, there's thirteen. There we go. They are all there. Why did they make that section big enough to hold twenty-two letter cubes if it's only meant to be thirteen? The circle of life. Why are we randomly having a lion, a lion king moment? No idea. Just fancy. I it doesn't even look like Simba. Ah, it's been I put in some brawn independent style and go cordless. God knows what the fuck this is. Oh, it's got free hair. Ew. Ew. Mm. Can you keep that Ew. one? Grim. I might have to de-hair that before I attempt to sell it. Blech. Adrian Davies says, if you look at the studs on the seat of the dragon, it would say Lego, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Okay. Hang on while I take my specs off so I can read. Do you know what it says, Adrian? It says Mega Blocks. You the man. You said Mega Blocks and it says Mega Blocks and you are the man. It's official. Adrian knows stuff. I'm still clinging on to the fact that I knew the walnut thing. Karen says, stream your hard karaoke. 
At first I was afraid. I was petrified. I spent so many nights just feeling sorry for myself. I used to cry. Mm -hmm. Now I hold my head up high and you see me. Somebody <laughs> I'm not that chained up little person still in love with you. <laughs> we should stop. Yeah. So says, what's that website you can use to check solds on eBay? I've forgotten. Is it um, Terrapeak? Huh? eBay. <laughs> Terrapeak? Camel, camel, camel? Worth point. Worth point. Carmen says, I'm after a Dyson hairdryer. Any chance of finding one of those in the cupboard? Is that the weird tube things that just sucks your hair in? I want one of them. Everyone wants one of them. They're about 300 quid, aren't they? Mandy says, ah, oh, the joys of reselling, sniffing crutches and crutches and picking people's hair off of things. <laughs> I put in a packet of HP zinc photo paper because I know this stuff's expensive, isn't it? If you have one of these little zinc printers, this pocket printer, I know this paper's expensive. So when I saw it in the bottom of the bag, I chucked it in. Sprocket. 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 Pocket. I've got some Maybelline New York Dream Sun Glow Subtle Glow Daily Moisturizer Fake Tan. Very, very, very tempted to send this to Steve along with the shit. <laughs> very tempted. <laughs> but then he would know it was me. And he's not going to know because you're not going to tell. But I also got some Naked Skin Self Tan Tinted Tan Mousse. So. It's a bit of a self, bit of a fake tan day. <laughs> Karen says, do it. Good morning, Antoinette. <laughs> Lucy T, though, I don't know if I've said good morning, Lucy T, so I'll say it again just in case. Good morning, Lucy T. I've got some runes, Lex. Um, I bought runes the other week, put them in an auction. They had a bit of a watch, but uh, didn't go, and they haven't sold since. Oh, well, I thanks for this on the bonfire. I used to do runes. Your future awaits. Gain ancient wisdom with runes and take a peek into your future. Included are a set of 24 glass runes, a cloth to do your runes casting on, and an 88 page book. It was 5 99 new, but again, I've just chucked it in because I was like, oh, runes, I've never had runes. It's all right with tarot. Tarot was prettier, though. Hmm. Indy says she does well with fake tan. Shift says, I'd be good, great doing a name that tune block. <laughs> Karen says, send them separately, the fake tan and the shit, so that he won't know they're me. We should all send him a shit ton of fake tan. Everyone who get, ever gets any fake tan at the car boot, we should all just send it on to Steve. <laughs> Literally, to the point where, you know, continually for the next, like, year or so, to the point where he's like, well, people, stop sending me fake tan. <laughs> I think that's a damn good idea. <laughs> Brian says, I've been hearing some tellings of adult behind the scenes happenings at the meetup. I'm thinking about starting a reseller tabloid vlog. Nothing happened. Nothing. The only people who got remotely cosy were Lex in Helen's bed. And unfortunately, Helen wasn't there. And um, I believe I believe a certain young, a young male couple may have done some cuddling. And apart from that, I believe everybody was very well behaved, apart from the married people. And they were with each other. I mean, literally with the people they were married to, not just like keys in a bowl with each other. <laughs> Except for Sue. Who was Sue with? Everyone. Everyone loves what a bit of Sue. Sue. Slut. I do have a recording on my phone of Sue swearing, which I am saving for special occasions. Can I have it as a ringtone? If I can find out how to send it to you, yes, you can. <laughs> Karen says, can someone tell my fortune? I really need to know what I'm doing next year. I can tell your fortune right now, Karen. Next year, you'll be doing very much what you've been doing this year unless you pull your fucking finger out and get more shit done. <laughs> Who are you on the phone to? Jesus. Count Docula. <gasps> Count Docula. <laughs> in the heart of Transylvania, in the Vampire Hall of Bania, there's not a vampire's any other Docula. Brian says Sue's a saint. So I've got, I've got, I've got a recording of Sue saying rude words. Good morning, Joan. Has anybody else come in that I haven't noticed? If you've come in and I haven't said hello, say no. Hi. Um, last few bits out of my bag. 
are a random three tubes of whatever the fuck this is. I don't think it's even a decent brand. It's hand cream, ginger and lime, verbena, and rose petal. And, and I thought when I picked them up, I thought they were a decent brand, but I don't think they are. So barely worth showing you, but there they are. Hi, hi, hi. Sorry. Hi, hi, hi. Andrea, falling on a bruise. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Andrea. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> hi, Indy Chick. Hi, Thailand Heron. I'm going to say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. Quack. You're ducked in the head. I thought they were L'Occitane because I only very briefly glanced at the labelling. They look L'Occitane-ish, but they're not L'Occitane. They're just shit. And last thing is some horrendous, I think... Don't even know what I'm looking at. I'm not sure if it's meant to be my little pony or what. And what the hell I thought I was doing, chucking it in the bag. It's a piece of tin trap tra 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 necklace with a, a random dangly bit. Indy's off to the car boot. Oh, Karin says, Lex, can you text the phone and test the test the phone and see if it quacks when it rings? Probably. I will give it a try. I hope it does, but I don't think it will. Barry Brown says, and there's my wife just put a block on me attending any future meetups. <laughs> Everybody's very well behaved at meetups. I'm apart not. From apart from Sue. You weren't very well behaved, but you were asleep for most of it, so that kept you out of trouble. That's <laughs> Only an hour. <laughs> Oh, I've, I've, I've just realised that this is a key. There we go. That was a key ring entangled with a necklace. It's still shit. It's just now two pieces of shit instead of one. Oh, Lisa says, I've got that same hand cream. It's very nice stuff. If you want it, Lisa, I'll post it down to you because I won't use it myself. There's a ginger and lime, a verbena and a rose rose petal. And if you want it, let me know and I'll pop it in the post to you this week. Also, Lainey, I think I've got your address for this book, but... If you could send it to me, that'll save me scrolling back through God knows how many messages. That'd be great. Oh, this is several bits of crap. It's not even just one bit of crap. It's several bits of crap. Okay, I've got a dangling thing that says FR on the end of it. I would say it's a bracelet, but I can't imagine how it's meant to... I don't know. It's proper shit tin anyway. And then a necklace that says love with a horseshoe in the middle. Oh, no, that's that's, that's Mickey. It says love with Mickey Mouse head in the middle. Where the heck's the camera gone? There we go. And it is just tin. It feels tinny. And then a horrible, horrible key ring. With, I, don't, I think that's supposed to be like a My Little Pony, but I'm not sure. And that's it. That's my whole filler bag. It's not bad for two quid when you think about it, because the fake tan and the zinc photo paper and stuff like that will get me more on the back, even if nothing else does. According to yes. Evil com Completed and Sold, this telephone, not this exact one, but one like it, is um, on Jersey Shore, and it does quack, apparently. Excellent. Who are you talking to? You look like you're doing a children in need telephone. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Send send poo to Steve. Okay. Brian says, I saw your recent video about books you've read. I just don't understand. Do they not have films over there yet? Sometimes, sometimes, Brian, your American shows a bit. Sometimes. <laughs> Right, what have I missed? I haven't missed anything, I don't think. So, yeah, pile of stuff, mostly crap, let's face it, mostly rubbish. Should I see how much my fake tans worth? Because that's very much going to affect whether or not I post it to see if it's worth a load of money. My clock. Yeah, what's the story of your clock? Are these worth a million pounds? Um, About 20, 25, I think. West clocks. Nice. How much you pay for that? Four 50. pounds. 
Okay, my naked skin self tan tinted tan mousse sells for nine pounds seventy five. So that's pretty much paid for my entire haul. He's not getting that. No, he's not getting that. Fandria says Snoopy will be the next thing to look out for as Kath Kidston's doing a range. And uh, Chris says, Lexi, I think he means you, does does its eyes light up? Um, it does say that it, it flashes. So, yeah, I think the eyes might light up as well. <laughs> Brian says Trump banned all books here sometime last year. We hardly remember them anymore. <laughs> Scary because it's true. It's going to be. It's going to be true. This dystopian future, it's now. They'll be burning books before we know it. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's always flipping Mandy says her mum had that clock on her bedside table. Ah, it's a nice clock, isn't it? It's nice. I had an orange one of the the small one of these and it sold for about thirty pounds. Because it was orange. Martina says, has anybody heard about the change in terms for YouTube? 10th of December, some YouTube channels will shut down. I think Nick did a video about it the other night with ads. Nick, Nick had a chat about that. It's not going to affect me. I don't make stuff for kids. I don't pretend I make stuff for kids. And my ch channel is very much labelled as not for kids. So, All of my videos are very child-friendly. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Good morning, Joan Morris. She's oh, am I, am I late again? Yes, you are. So, yeah, 10 quid for my one bottle of fake tan. I mean, it's, 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 there's something has leaked on it, but the actual tan itself is fine. And I don't know how, how much my Maybelline New Dream sunglasses, but it's, I think it's interesting. These are the things that you would not think of, particularly in terms of reselling. And these are the things that when you chuck them in fill a bag, they turn out to have the most value, you know? Yeah, somebody's got one of these on for ten ninety nine. I think that person might be crazy because other people have got them on for less. But even so, five ninety nine. So, I've sold these before. These Halifax Save for It money boxes. I've sold those in the past. Kelso Clothing says, "Good morning. Have I missed much? We've missed all my crap, and you've missed Lex talking to a duck." And Brian says, what videos, Lex? It's been ages since you've posted. What? Huh? Brian's pointing out that you have, you don't make any videos, so you're not safe. Yeah, sorry, Brian. I'll, I do private videos if you're willing to pay. My little um, zinc photo paper for my sprocket sells for a tenner. Bye, Phoebe. Bye, Phoebe. We're going to put our Christmas tree in the bath. In the bath? Yeah. It needs a wash. You're not, you're not planning to display it in the bath for the Christmas season. That's not what you meant. No. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I know that you have some unusual ideas about stuff, but putting your Christmas tree up for, for, for in the bath is odd. <laughs> Even I'm not that weird. We have a small house, so we're putting our Christmas tree up in the bath. <laughs> oh, it's going to go in the bay window, but it needs a clean. Do you say light shade or lamp shade? Um, I say lamp shade. I'll try and look up that Banksy one to find out if it's worth £11 billion. Pounds. Looking for some fun, can always count upon the one that one they call Doki Girl. That's oh, for you, that message. It's a whole new world. A new a fantastic world. Tells her, thank you for getting him or her into jewellery. It's very difficult to tell with some people whether their username means man or woman, and there's no picture, so. Or gender fluid. Oh, yeah, man, woman, or somewhere in between, or whatever the fuck you want to be, mate. You yeah. do you. Exactly. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Anna Kinder. Um, Mandy well, says, what's the, point? what's the point of putting it all up? We've got to take it all down again anyway. Bah, humbug. <laughs> I 
Oh, Kelso, 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 Kelso identifies as a woman on account of being one. <laughs> yeah, I can't find this Banksy light shade anywhere, and I've put in lampshade and light shade, and neither of them the answer, neither of them are it. Um, what else could it be called? Wall hanging? Like, is it definitely a light shade? Yeah, no, it's, it's got a light shade fitting on the top. I'm gonna let me just dig it back out. There it is. Look. Maybe, they're not allowed, maybe they're not allowed to say Banksy though, because it's not official. Yeah. Well, to be fair, Banksy doesn't do official Banksy. Well, no, because he doesn't exist, does he? No. But yes, yeah, definitely, it's definitely a, a ceiling light fitment arrangement. Barry Brown's off to a tabletop. Carla says, I said that, Mandy, but Carla made me put mine up. I made you put yours up because you were not putting it up out of spite. That's why I made yeah. you put yours up. Yeah. <laughs> Have I said good morning, Jason? If I haven't, let's say it again. Let's all say good morning. Good morning, Jason Entwistle. Thank you. Jason, I have not bought any um, Harry Potter DVDs for weeks. Weeks. And I've given them up. How many have you sold? I'm actually out of stock. I've got one one set that I bought the other day, but apart from that, I'm out. So I've got a load of still ready to go into bundles, but I just need Philosopher's Stones to complete about six bundles. I can't seem to find any Philosopher's 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 fuck's sake. That one. Yeah. Philosopher's Stones. Hmm. So, yes, I've stopped buying. I've been very well behaved. Finally got my Christmas jumpers on. I actually at one point thought they were going to have to wait till next year, but Anthony managed to find them in the loft, so they've gone on. Um, oh, on Amazon, Urban Graffiti, Carlos. Ah. How much are they charging? Uh, let's see. Oh, it just says currently unavailable. I bloody hate that on Amazon. At least, at least tell us what you used to sell it for. Yeah. Do they call it lampshade or light shade? Light shade. There's a round one for £25. This is kind of a floaty, dangly one. Yeah, pendant light shade. Right, Shazad says, question, didn't you do some swaps at the meetup? No, we completely forgot all about it. Um, Brian says, fun fact, after the success of the films, they released paper transcripts of Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, but then I have more in. Shazad says you yeah. can use Keeper to get the price of what it was before. Oh. I could go back to bed quite happily. Do it. Can't. Shit to do, in it. Yeah. Gotta do shits. Next door chickens are giving it large. Apparently, it's made by Mini Sun. Oh, they sound Chinese. I can even send you the barcode. Hang on. That was a very glamorous swipe that you did there with the back of your hand. Yeah, I know, it's quite <laughs> cool. Very swish. I'll send it you now. Thank you. I want to go sleep. You are allowed. Lisa, do you also want this sort of a little bit slightly used hand cream? The, the, other, the, the ginger and lime and the verbena are full. But this one is slightly used and battered. Do you want him as well, or her as well, or that as well? You're welcome to it if you want it. I just don't want to send you half used stuff if you don't want it. Mandy says, what shits are you doing today? I've got all sorts of shits going on. This one! Hooray! Yeah, I've got to go and see a friend this afternoon. I don't sound like I want to, do I? A special friend? A special friend. Oh! Chris Tyler says, Carla, type Banksy lampshade into Google. There's one showing for £57.68. I'm not going to sell it for £57.68, am I? 
I'm sitting here squeezing my shit again. So I was thinking of having some Botox done soon. What do you think? No, there's nowhere for you to put it. Your forehead is completely I'm smooth. Fillers in there. You look fucking weird like that. Don't have that done. <laughs> you don't need Botox. You're stunning. You do it. I've got a frown line. Well, stop frowning then, you miserable bitch. I can't. There's so much misery in life. <laughs> Hi, Mick Page. Your life is wonderful. It is. It <laughs> is. I have a duck. An independent, sexy female. Quack. With a duck phone. With a duck phone. Yeah, Mandy says don't do Botox. Well, why not? I really am quite enjoying playing with my shit here. I might not send it to Steve after all. Please, can I have that as a ringtone? I'm enjoying playing with my shit. <laughs> it's a little, little pet shit, look. It curves around the fingers. It's just like a, a little pet shit. Oh. <laughs> Whatever hey, the Christmas poo is small and brown and he comes from you. I don't know. Hanky the Christmas poo. Are you going for breakfast? Sorry? Are you going for breakfast? No, I had a McDonald's breakfast on the way home from the car boot, sir. Aww. Look. Oh, very nice. Thank you. She doesn't believe you, mate. She just dismissed that with a yeah, yeah, whatever. She doesn't. She doesn't think she's attractive. I've told her that I don't, but if I did, I would. And yet, it's not enough. I told you the other day, if I did fish, you'd be my finger. <laughs> Everybody says they love you. Oh, Monaco says he might be in Bristol next weekend. You should come over next weekend. Okay. Well, tough. <laughs> Bianca. <laughs> Rainy says I'm cooking later, mostly by myself, attempting to anyway. May just end up with me crashing around the kitchen saying oops. <laughs> I think you should video that, Lainey. We're looking forward to that. I found stuff 24 says first it was my little pony, now my little pet shit. <laughs> hey, take a look at my little my little my little pony. How's your little your little pony doing? Well, it's still on the same bids as it was the other day, um, but it's got like 43 watches on it. Wow. And only 42 of them are other resellers. I know, right? No, 47. <laughs> it's got 47. You I'm see? not watching it. I'm not watching it, so none of them are me. It's going to go for millions of pounds. That's my little pony. And then Christmas is on you. That was 50p. <laughs> Sorry, I'm patting my shit into, into shape. I'm having a ridiculous amount of fun playing with this. Every home should have one, I tell you. It's, more it's like being about Stretch Armstrong stuff. Do you remember Stretch Armstrong? Never had one. I didn't but have one. Do you remember that sort of stuff? It's kind of got a, like, a weird sand stuff inside it. Mm. So you can squeeze it and... Yeah. Look at this. See, Joe Morris says you're very lovely, Lex. I thought you were in your twenties when I first saw you, and that's the honest truth. Do you know why? Because this isn't my real face. This is someone else's, and I've taken it off and put it on top. <laughs> you just will not accept the compliment, will you? Let's practice. Ready? Just say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you don't even sound like you mean that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very much for feeding William. Thank you very, very, very much. Yeah. You are showing your age now. See, exactly. You see, that's saying like you Josh, you wouldn't have a clue what you're on about. Oh, God. If I say like 2012, Josh doesn't have a clue what I'm on about. <laughs> Chris says, and when the post office person asks what's in your parcel, you will say, I will say a stretchy shit, except I don't go to the post office, so I'll send it by Hermes, and I'll put shit on the label for Hermes as well. Brian I says, every family has a piece of shit. Ours is named Aunt Cheryl. 
I did used to when I sold the nipple tassels. I used to like um, having to say to the, you know when they asked, oh, so what's the contents? Nipple tassels, and I would purposefully say it really, really loud. And there was one time I was in Dunelm, and I was buying, um, you know, leatherette material to make nipple tassels out of. Um, but I was buying like a meter of it, and the guy that was serving me. <laughs> That's very erotic. Um, it's like, oh, so what are you going to cover with them? And I just said, nipples. And he got very embarrassed. <laughs> that was fun. Mandy says we have one of those from H&B. Took on caravan holiday and put it on auntie's bathroom floor in a pile of tea-stained wet tissues. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> and the monocle says Josh doesn't know what's happening at the best of times. That's quite true. But he's so pretty, so it's okay. Good morning, Kath Palmer. Lovely to see you. We're just about to go. <laughs> we really are. We're just, we've been on for an hour nearly. Yeah. I've got to have breakfast. I'm starving. I've got to post this shit. Yeah. For anyone who's just arrived, i.e., Kath Palmer, it's this shit I'm posting, Steve, not an actual shit. See, it's not dropped so far in my estimation that I'm actually posting in feces now. <laughs> he was already down there anyway. Yeah, there was nowhere for him to drop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, uh, apart from my disabled dragon, I haven't done too bad, I don't think. Quack. Quack. Can I go now? I'm really hungry and I want breakfast. You could have gone whenever you wanted. You're not a prisoner. You could just click the leave button and go. <laughs> yeah, but it's rude to just, you know, you know. <laughs> right, everybody say bye-bye, Auntie Lex. A bye-bye now. A bye-bye. A bye-bye now. A bye-bye now. A bye-bye. And then there was one. Oh, uh, Mandy says H&B is Home Bargains. Come on, Carly, you know that shot, right? I think I've heard of it. I think I've heard of Home Bargains. It does sound vaguely familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Looking around at her room full of home bargain stuff. Yeah, vaguely familiar. Okay. I should also go because I need to get in the shower and try and wake myself up a bit. And then get ready to go out later. It's actually turned into a really nice day out there. Blue skies. It's very windy. Very, very windy. But blue skies and a bit of sunshine going on. And I still really only want to go back to bed. But yeah, so there's my weird assortment of stuff I've bought this morning. £10.50 spent. Um, easily make that back on just a couple of the items. <laughs> Brian says, top five things you all hate about Lex and go. Um, I hate the fact that she's so pretty. I hate the fact that she's so sexy. I hate the fact that she's so hot. I hate the fact that she's so stylish. And I hate the fact that she's so popular. That's what you get for trying to make me bitch. In seriousness, I hate the fact that she doesn't love herself as much as I love her. Mandy says, what's all those Reese's calendars in the background? There's only two, there's two there. One of them is the one you sent me, Mandy, which thank you very much. I put that into the vlog. And um, Sam bought me one as well. But I have to be honest, I've split them down and taken the, um, taken the insides out and put them into my tub. I've got a tub of Reese's over there because... Um, couldn't be bothered <laughs> opening them one at a time. I was like, I'm going to open them all. I'm going to open them all right now. So I did, because um, because I shouldn't be allowed calendars, really, because I'm naughty. But thank you very much. Mandy sent me a fantastic um, box of goodies this week, which is all, all I've, I've had most of it, in fairness. But she is, Mandy's a lovely, lovely person. Lex says, we're all weirdos. Hi, Cassie Carl. Karin says, Carla, with an exclamation mark, and I'm not sure why. And Thailand Heron says, are you going to put Christmas decorations on your mug tree? <laughs> There's an idea. I could just wrap it up in tinsel, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not eating them all at once. I just took them all out of the box. All out of the box. Also, I don't have any wall space to hang my calendar up, and it's it's that kind of keeping out of reach Molly thing as well is another thing. So Molly is, she climbing and she reaches stuff. She had a quarter of a box of After Eight Mints the other night, and I thought she was going to die. So that was a bit terrifying. Um, so yeah, I thought they're, they're now in them. They're in my miniature heroes tub, and then they're sealed, and she can't get in there. So, oh, that was Karin's telling me off for cheating with the calendar. I haven't ate them all, Karin. I haven't eaten them all. I've, I've not cheated from that point of view. I just opened them. Honest. Honest. 
Mandy says, sod that, eat the box. No, the box is cardboard, Mandy. That's not the tasty bar. <laughs> I'm very tired. I look very washed out, don't I? Honestly, it is, I, I do think it's just because I'm sitting by the window. I don't think I actually look that white in real life. Lex says she doesn't have a calendar. Why not, Lex? Why didn't you get one? I've got one here that I could post to you that I wanted a raffle if you want it. Oh, uh, Thornton's one. Would you like me to post you a calendar? Brian says Lex left to stay. <laughs> uh, Lisa's got a severe weather warning from 3 p.m. until 9 a.m. tomorrow, windy and cold. It's quite nice here. Like I said, it is very windy, but blue skies, a bit of sunshine. And here endeth the weather report. Anakin is off to bed. Morning, Nadine Coltman. I'm just going. I am just going. So um, I'm sorry to say hi and bye, but I am just off. I'm going to go and jump in the shower, see if it livens me up a bit, because I'm not very lively at the moment, as you can see. So um, thank you for watching. Thank you to Lex for joining me this morning. That was fun. And there's 86 of you out there. So if you haven't thumbed up, then you probably should, because it'd be nice. But you don't have to if you don't want to. You do what you want. You do you. At the end of the day, you do you. Martina says, the early dark nights are really bad for tiredness, messes with the body clock. Absolutely. I don't know what time it is after time. Oh, excuse me. A, a shower a shower will wake me up. I'll have a shower and then I'll be like, bright eyed and bushy tailed. That'll do it. Okay. I'm off to post poo to Steve. <laughs> um, Brian's off to watch Lex eat Brecky in the nude. I think that's a private live stream that they're doing just between the two of them. And um, Mandy's screaming crispy duck at Lex for some bizarre reason. Oh, God. Right. Thank you all for watching. You're all wonderful, wonderful people. Waffle will be out Tuesday. Um, there's not a lot in the waffle this week. I should warn you, don't, don't wait up to watch it because I haven't done anything much this week. Um, I'll be back next Sunday, I think, with the car boot. Well, next Sunday is the last car boot of the season, I think. They don't normally stop, but this, I think the next Sunday is the 15th. The one after that would be the 22nd, and for some reason they're not having one on the 22nd, and they normally go right through. So I don't know why they've changed. Why they've changed their usual rules this year, I don't know. Oh, they're not all teeth then. Oh, why they changed them? I look like Jan out of Greece. Um. <laughs> Sorry, lost the plot completely now. Thank you for watching. You're all wonderful people. I will see you next week. I don't know. I don't know what else I was going to say. Everybody have a lovely week. Everybody have a lovely Sunday. Oh, good God. You know what it is? It's because yawns are catching and there isn't anyone else here to catch it. So I'm catching my own yawn back again. See you all soon. Take care. Love you all. Bye bye.